one of the first things I did was I modified the bottom of the case. I added a switch there and I added a power wire there. Got the extra wires coming out. That's the first mod I made. Then the next mod I made was on the board I removed the printer connection because the customer does not have a printer and doesn't want to use a printer so why would leave it there. I removed it. I put in some pin headers so I could solder to them and just so you know it's the back five pins ground minus five plus five plus twelve plus twelve and the two plus twelves are the same so they only have one wire coming to them there I don't think I, you could see it very well so they go ground minus five plus five plus twelve plus twelve this is what it looks like from the back side. And I'll just show you what it looks like on the back side. So that right there, so I didn't have to use the front four, which is two, three or, or two aren't used and two are for data. One's for reset, one's for data for the printer. So they're not being used, so they just not touched. But those five pins right there correspond to those five. And then because I, from the top, you have to flip it around. And then the wire runs up through the inside up to the power supply. The power supply is mounted with those two screws right there to the bottom of the power supply. And the wires go in there and hook up to that. And then I have to run the main power line up in here when I assemble it to hook up to that. And then she's ready to go. You can plug her into ColecoVision, flip on the switch over here, and Standalone power supply. Yeah, now as I start to assemble, you see I have to run the wires up through all these pieces in here. So I want all the wires running towards the back. So when I flip this, all the wires are in the back here. So here's your on and off switch. There's your power wires, and then here's your data line over to your connector atom net there. And everything else is still normal. No other change. So there we are, it's assembled, all the wiring's hooked up, the output or the diagram is still visible in the front, all the wires run up through the back in here, made like a little harness, use masking tape to hold the wires together, and the wires all go through the back, so there's no place for the printer to plug into anymore, and you got that there, other than that, that's basically how it should have been built. Now you can't put it on the back, like I put them on the back for standalone atoms, but you can't do that on here because the ColecoVision butts up against there. So it has to go on the side, and this is what should have been done originally. Everything else is all good. I'm going to finish assembling it, then I'm going to test her out. And here we go. His lid is broken, so it just lifts up easy, but you can see everything's installed nice and clean. Plugs into the back, and this is why this switch couldn't be back here. I guess I could have probably put a switch up here, but I like it better right there. So it plugs in nice and clean. You see, obviously, there's no power supply plugged in there, nothing on the side there. The cord just goes over and plugs into the wall socket. You see, we have power, and we have. Telebox is working. Now, why don't we just store a, I don't know, let's see, I'll just grab a controller test. I just want to throw a cartridge in there. Put a cartridge in. And reset it over. It's loading a controller tester program. That's a simple one that I had on my desk here. My messy desk, I got to clean back up. That's just today's mess. Breakfast. So yeah, controller tester, plug in there, hit the, pull the reset, back to the atom, all good, and let's just do one last thing, we'll come over here into the cabinet here, we get out a CPM data pack, I'm just going to do a quick beat in CPM to test that too, 
Let me put that in there. She's a running. See, that looks very clean. That's the way it should have been built. Or something along that nature. Just a simple cable and a switch and the power supply could have been inside there. Yeah, I know they were going for the printer. They needed a big printer thing. Now, that's not the first one I've done. I mean, my main system right here, you see the black bottom. That's got the power base in it. I can actually go back here to show you. I got power supply going in the back here. So this is all standalone by itself. And it's loading CPM. So, that expansion module is now completely self-contained. No printer necessary. Plug it into a ColecoVision and away you go. Have a good one.